Well, welcome back to Morning Break, live from Savannah's SCADS Film Studio yeah. back lot, uh, which looks a lot like Savannah, but Savannah itself has been very popular over the years. So many movies and television shows filmed there. Yeah, it sure has. Now, Ryan Tismaneski will show us a little glimpse at all <laughs> of these incredible films that have been filmed right here in our area. Check it out. From blockbuster to art house, Ford versus Ferrari to Forrest Gump, Savannah has been the backdrop for hundreds of films. Come along with me for a tour of some of the must-see movie spots. Starting off with one of the most iconic scenes filmed in Savannah, the bench that Forrest Gump sat on was here in Chippewa Square. But fans of the film might notice something's missing. Where's the bench? It can be found here at the Savannah History Museum. After the movie wrapped up filming, one of the prop benches was donated to the museum where you can still see it in its full glory today. While Savannah is a background in most movies, the city plays a key role in Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, a Savannah novel that was brought to the silver screen in 1997. Readers of the book may remember the Bird Girl statue on the cover, which was also featured in the film. And... Although she used to call Bonaventure Cemetery her home, she moved to the Telfair Academy, where you can learn all about her today. Uh, Bird Girl is essentially Telfair's unofficial uh, mascot, so we welcome people from all around the world um, to come and experience her and sit with her. Although its wide sidewalks and overhanging lights are enough to bring people from across the land, Broughton Street once brought visitors from undersea, being transformed into a beach town for the second Spongebob movie. This wasn't the only time that Savannah's historic district was transformed. 2019's Lady and the Tramp remake completely changed the time period of the city. It also brought in over $50 million for Savannah. Savannah's historic district isn't the only place that undergoes transformations. Tybee Island is also known to change. The island's beaches and shops were at the heart of 2010's The Last Song. In fact, a whole wedding chapel on the island was built for the movie and it remains in operation today. Another island in the area that has appeared on screen is Hutchinson Island, which is a stand-in for France and Ford vs. Ferrari. The island actually has a racing history where a 10-turn race course used to host the Savannah Speed Classic and other races. From the Bird Girl statue to choosing a box of chocolates, Savannah continues to be a popular choice for filming in Georgia. In Savannah, Ryan Tisbaneski, WTOC.